Yeah, I'm curious on that. Like when these sessions started, I mean, was it apparent that Travis was going to be producing and then you co-produced a lot of that? So how do you kind of realize, OK, I'm co-producing this one. How does that play out? The way. OK. I wasn't hired as a producer. I was hired as an engineer. That's it. The problem is, is that Tom and I, the way we work is 100% collaborative. It doesn't matter if it's angels. It doesn't matter if it's a soundtrack. It doesn't matter like what it is. Like we, we, that we, we just have a system and we just go. And I'm not shy about saying, I don't like that. I think you should change it to this, this, and this. And him going like, hell yeah, that is cool. Yeah. Um, and in the beginning, I think Tom was a little bit afraid to have me change something that may have been written by somebody else. Mm. And he'd be like, uh, just let's not touch anybody else's stuff. Let's just focus on the guitars and the vocals and whatnot. And, you know, maybe we can send like whatever the version is that we have and the version is that of what you're thinking. And then, you know, if they like the version that if they don't like the version of what you were thinking, then we at least got what they wanted done. And so everybody was kind of like being almost too respectful, but given the situation, I understand, like, yeah. the last thing you want to do is, like, bring back some PTSD of yesteryear, and then it's, like, you're back there. Yeah. And as things kind of progressed, I started kind of putting in a little bit more of my ideas in there, and... A lot of the stuff that I got co-production credits on were, were things that started off in San Diego with Tom. Mm. So you have like Anthem Part Three that was like written like in in a day. Wow! It's like going through stuff, sent it over to Travis. Travis was like, oh, dude, this is awesome. Like Mark flipped over it. And like we would leave these pockets, obviously for Mark Mark to do like that. At that point, it was what was considered a bridge in Anthem Part Three. Um, actually, no, it was a verse. But it, mm. it's such a weird like um, arrangement that it feels like a bridge, even though it technically is a verse. And not much production-wise changed on that. Um, so for me, it was kind of like, it would be cool to get, you know, co-production on those songs. And the band and Travis were cool about it. And that was that. Um, but that was pretty much the formula. So like Blink Wave was another, was another one that I got co-production on. And that was a little bit of a different one. That was Mark coming down to Tom's. And the three of us were in the room and kind of put that together and then sent it over to Travis. Travis laid drums down and he ended up changing the bridge, which we had just put as more of like a placeholder. But it really tied things together. And truth be told, I didn't even know that there was vocals on, on the bridge until the album came out. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that was really cool. So I was pretty stuck <laughs> on that. 